British woman on Social Catfish. Spooky. <laughs> Thank you to Happy Hermit for the suggestion. We're just diving right into it. It's not a long one. Sorry, ladies. That's what she said. I had to go into temporary accommodation, which lasted seven months. My daughter come and picked me up on Christmas Day, and I, so I stood outside sobbing because I just didn't want her to see the place that I... I had been, because of this man, taking all my money. I, I felt so ashamed. I've had to lie, and I hate lying to them. At the end of the day, when I'm here, and I close my front door, it's just me and him inside my head, and I can't cope with that. I'm going to pause it there, because I am getting the bad feeling. Don't know if you can like see my eyes right now but like i i don't know if it's clear or if i've said it in previous videos but maybe i think i did mention it in yesterday's would you rather i've actually been homeless uh i've been bounced around homes uh temporary homes for example uh hostels if you know what hostels are even the word hostels, it just doesn't sound good, does it? So, I have a feeling we might see some tears from H, because that was dark times. Just... Oof. What's up, Seekers, and welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented so I can by understand. socialcatfish.com. On today's Her episode, right we speak now. to a woman named Anne who fell in love with a man on Facebook Messenger. The two formed a relationship and were even engaged. Anne is having serious doubts about her fiancé, Michael, being who he claims to be. She has borrowed money from her close friends and family and has sent Michael over $50,000 to get him out of the terrible situation he claims to be in. I've said it many times and I'll say it again. If you're borrowing money to give to someone else to help them in whatever situation that they're going through, let's imagine it was real, right? Because this kind of stuff, I hope you're not sending money to people you've never met. But if it was real, don't, it's the example, it's, it's what I've said so many times. Don't put yourself in a bad position to help the other person. Because if they truly need help, how can you help them when you yourself are struggling? Don't, is, I, think, I don't know if martyr is the right word, but don't become a martyr. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Real quick, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. You already Let's are. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hi, social catfish. My name is she Anne has the same glasses. I'm 63 years of age. All my other children are all grown up now. And my youngest, she left home to go and visit a boyfriend. Right. Oh. So there was just me and the dog. And there's only oh. one she can tell the dog. I was doing 11 hour shifts in the kitchen as a, a head chef. Wow. It was like being on a hamster wheel. You got up at six, you went to work at seven. And you came home at half past seven and did night. it again and just coming into an empty dark house it's just a horrible lonely place to be in i didn't even eat i didn't even go in my living room for about three months because i was just so tired and fed up and then i came home one night and my instagram this person popped up it just seemed to come at a right time mm. of my life. This message started everything. After going through two divorces and now living on her own, the thought of having someone to talk to was a breath of fresh air for him. Can I understand? Michael would text her all day, before, during, and after work. Doesn't good he have a job? and good night texts, he was always there to talk. He was quite, it's a lonely life out here. I wondered if you would message me. I was quite off at the time, because that's what those English people are like, I suppose. I just said, if I have time, I'm a very busy lady, which is true. 
Should have kept it I up. I think it's on one of my days off that we really got into conversation. And he, he said, uh, oh, you sound like my ideal woman. What? What exactly is your ideal woman? Someone who's busy and has a life and has a job. So that's most of the world. Used to send me like these um, YouTube songs every morning, all those nice songs and all these nice emojis, and I just thought, oh, He's this about seems 15 to be fifteen years old. You know, okay. He um, he was a very good-looking chap, really was. He right. was very handsome. He really was very handsome. What is this supposed to be? Some kind of air up sponsorship? Air up. Sponsor me! I know you sponsor channels with like million plus subs and stuff, but... I'm begging. I, I can't keep drinking Prime. I drink water most of the time. I just thought it was... I didn't even press play, so that kind of... <laughs> wow! Bloopers! What are you? An idiot sandwich. It got to, um, oh, I love you, I want to marry you. Right, sure. You cook, you're caring, you're loving. Hey, her accent, I thought that she said you cuck. <laughs> I thought, Michael, goodness gracious me, what, what, what ideal woman do you have in mind? Someone who's a head chef and a, someone who's a cook and a cuck at the same time. My bad. You're beautiful inside and out. You've never met her. All the things a woman wants to hear. Yeah, I mean, I guess. It was around four months after he asked me, would I marry him? He'd even said and come on. he would like to propose in a romantic setting. Where's the and British he in you? Me what <gasps> sort of ring I would like. He said, Queen. He said, Queen. Right then and there, the phone should have been turned off. Michael should have been banished from the earth. As soon as you hear Queen, even if it's your husband of 50 years, if he says Queen, run. And I said, oh, just to play in gold band. He said, don't you like diamonds? I said, yeah. I said, but they're not practical if you're working. He said, oh, you won't be working. So he said, I just love you so much. Wow, what a I, great so guy. I getting to know him because of the chit chat we were having every day. I was getting to like him and started to love him. Well, you'd hope so since Very you want to marry so. him. so. I, I did. I did really fall in love with him. But I'd never met him, and that's the hard part. Right. And we were even talking about when he came to Manchester Airport. You, Manchester? You don't sound like you're from Manchester. I ain't heard Mane or Michael. That was horrible. You'd, you'd think I've been sipping the wine that she's got in the background. Why is that there? What's the aesthetic we're going for here? By the way, I love the microwave. It's just, it's a Louboutin microwave. How would we feel, you know? And I just said, well, I would feel as if there's nobody else about. I would just meet you and just what? love you. What does that mean? Kiss you as if there was not a soul out in the airport. What does that mean? Are we filming a porno as you meet in the airport? Surprised that's never been a porno, by the way unless someone now comments that there is actually a very adult film that they meet in the airport and right there in the middle. You sick freak if you've watched that. That's how I felt about him. I, I was sharing a queen my again. life with him. I told Delete. him everything. I bared my soul, as the people say to him. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say Although that. Although all of Michael and Anne's communication was through chats, Anne had fallen in love with this man. She was engagement ring shopping and preparing to meet him wow. in person. 
but then things unfortunately we took a turn. What happened? It started the day of my birthday in October. Oh so it was like four, five months after. He messaged me in work and he said, can you can you chat? And I said, well, I'm going on my break in a minute. What What's the matter? He said, well, you need to sit down. I need to ask you a huge favor. Sure, Michael, what is this? The Turkish Taliban have hit me. I have to bring all the machinery, and there's one machine that I need, and it's broken. Right. I'm sorry, here, Michael, but you made it seem, as I've just said, that as if the Turkish Taliban have shoved a missile inside your ass. A machine at my job has broken, but you need to sit down for this. It's very heavy news. Get a grip. Genuinely. Like, I know you've tried to make this some sort of sad sob story, but we ain't on the X Factor. Just because your job is now harder because a machine broke, doesn't mean I now am obliged to give you 5k. And where's the British in you, my friend? Where's it gone? Where's the snarkiness? Where is... I don't know why I've done that to myself, but <laughs> get a grip of myself. That's what I've... Shut up. What? And I just said to him, I don't have that type of money. Good, stand your ground, and I, I hopefully. I to feel so guilty that the following Monday, I said, oh, well, I can't do anything until Monday. I said, where do I send it to? What a shame. He your birthday. He even said, well, oh, happy birthday, or anything like that. And I thought, he was more interested in getting this money. First of all, whenever someone has not wished me a happy birthday, I've just like, <laughs> not cut communication because that's a bit childish you might think, but I've taken it personally, so what about it, I'm a human being. So why would you then send five grand to someone who is supposedly going to be your husband and pay for everything in your life? You can't even say happy birthday. And I've actually reminded myself of that point if he's going to pay for everything in your life, he can't even pay five grand for his job. Which five grand is, is actually quite a lot of money. But you get my point. How are you going to pay for everything else? You want her to stop working. But now, what's happened? Where's your money? You sack of shit, Michael. All I'm thinking right now is like Michael from... Uh, turn, turn, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo. Pizza and... I don't... Where's the relevance? I don't know. But I also do want to say... I don't know what's Michael's job here. I, I don't know if he's some kind of self-employed man, freelancer or whatever. But if he's working for someone else and he has to pay five grand, I don't think that makes sense. So I'd like to know, is he self-employed? Is he a pipe player? Huh? It would have been more believable if... The boys at the Turkish Taliban genuinely shoved the missile up his ass. And then, no, it wasn't, oh, thanks very much, but when can you send the next bit? What and does that mean? I started borrowing money from other people and I hate myself for it. I really and truly hate myself for it. <laughs> I'm glad in the sense that you realise you're effed up there. But if someone... And I repeat, anyone, really, is sending you messages like, when can you send the other, when you've sent them money to pay for something in their own job. Mother effer, you ain't getting a penny from me again. My landlord was coming round, um, and Christmas was coming. Um, I didn't end up buying my grandchildren and anything, and that really, really hurt me. It did. The 5,000 had been paid, and I said, right, that's it now, no more. Why would you do this to yourself? This person messaged this? me, uh, a Christian O'Neill, and said he was the banking consultant, and that the bank wouldn't release the codes because he still owed an old tax debt. So I ended up cashing in my workplace pension, sent that, and then there was um, money for Amazon cards. 
I am so sorry, Anne. You're making this difficult. Fellow Brit to Brit, right? Brit to Brit, shit to shit. Can you send some Amazon gift cards? I thought you needed machine things for work. Remember guys, once again, I sound like a broken record. What's that Eminem lyric? I sound like a broken record every time I break a record. I'm not breaking any records here, apart from the vinyl of my asshole. I don't know why I resort to the ass every time, but forgive me. If you are ever put in a position where you have to decide between your three month lover and your family buying Christmas gifts for the grandkids. Why? I love, right? I understand you're lonely in your home. I feel lonely too sometimes. But please sit back and gather yourself. It might be difficult, but gather your thoughts because you realize afterwards the shit that you've placed yourself into. So step back and realize then and there the shit you're about to dip your toe into. You're about to get gangrene or whatever the hell that thing is called. Always pick your family over your lover. In the sense that if your lover is someone like Michael who you've never met and you're not even married. At this point, Anne had sent so much money to Michael for the broken machines and clearing all of his debts. What does that mean? She ended up sending over $50,000. She How is sent transaction after transaction after transaction. How is this man going Michael to pay for everything? Bad luck never came to an end. He took everything from Anne, and when she ran out of money, she borrowed it from her friend. Steam. And I had every steam card out, and I could have decorated my bed, uh, bathroom with them. Look, I understand. She might not know what steam is and she's just buying Steam cards. But when you look at a Steam card, and I think most of the time it does say, as the screen suggests, PC games, some sort of reference to gaming, why wouldn't she ask the question? What do you need this for? Are you about to go and buy the new Call of Duty? What? How about you do your Call of Duty? duty as the man and stop asking me for money remember this is the man that's going to take care of her but he's you know indebted up his urethra there you go i've changed it from ass come on Anne. come on it was getting bad it was getting bad i'd lost my now job. my car had gone where'd the job go and then the fourth of november um Um, I had, you lost your home. I was evicted yeah. from my property, but before I was, went, I took a big overdose what? and it wasn't f for the fact that my, one of my daughters came and I couldn't, I, she came through the front door and, um, I was rushed to hospital where I was there for three weeks. I said, my grandchildren were going to grow up without their nanny. I said, how do you think... Let me see his reply. How do you think they would feel? What's his reply? And this is what hurt me the most. He said, oh, they'd get over it. And I, I think that it's safe to say, right? Obviously, she's in too deep now. The obvious signs were there from the beginning with the whole, oh, when can you send the other one? Not even a happy birthday. But if someone says this to you, for example, me, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to perish and I'm sending you money and money. And they s s say to me, yeah, they, they don't need you. They'll get over it. It's life. You can well and truly cup your balls, twist, do a little twist. That's a doorknob twist. Fucking have you piece of shit, right? Scammers are piece of shits in general, but we're talking whale-sized shits right now. They'll get over it. Don't care if this is just a job for you. I don't know, I'm saying this as if a scammer is watching this. 
But genuinely, if a scammer is watching this, may it sit down and truly think about your life. The people in your, in your life who you've not told that this is your job because you know deep down you are a sack of shit. I don't care if it's a job for you. I need money. It's just, it's just a bit of employment to get me through a few weeks or what. There are so many jobs out there, right? I don't care if you have to... I don't, what, what's a bad job? There is no bad job other than this or harming someone, right? If it's a genuine job, I don't care if you think people will look down on you for doing it. It's better than this shit. So please, just know when you're speaking to someone online, this is a bit of advice. Just know this is the lengths that they will go to to get money out of you. So I'm hoping you put your family first. So you horrible, horrible person. Facts. I had to go into temporary accommodation, which lasted seven months. I know how shit it is. Where there was drug addicts. Yep. Um, alcoholics. Yep. And I was petrified the whole yep. time I was in there. And I just thought, what the hell have I done? What the hell have you done to me? You have... It, it, it broken me in two. I can't sleep overnight because it's playing over in my mind over and over and over again. And I just want absolute closure on it. At the end of the day, when I'm here and I close my front door, it's just me and him inside my head. And I can't cope with that. I feel for her. Okay, Seekers, we had our work cut out for us. We knew we had to get rid of any thought and had about this man being who he really claims to be. We couldn't believe the amount of stress that Anne had been put through. Even after if he's real, and Michael's this is a horrible messages. human being to be While with. While she was in the hospital after overdosing, Michael's best friend reached out to her for more money. And to top it off, she was hiding all of this from her family. Our social catfish team... Sorry, you have so many excuses. Do you even care about Michael? Well, Mr. Paul, you and your friend have so many excuses. Do you not even care about Anne? You see, th the mental gymnastics you have to do to try and think that these... Well, I don't want to say people. I also don't want to say animals. Because animals wouldn't do this to you. <laughs> Please. Any whiff. And I'm not... That, right? Any whiff of a scam. Save yourself so much hurt and tell them to F themselves. Social Catfish team got straight to work. We looked oh, he's me the in the middle and the banking website. Before we go further, here's a quick message from our sponsor. Oh, yeah, we all right, here we go. Verify and crack this case using all the tools on our site. Yes. Socialcatfish.com. You can stop Honestly, these guys. scammers in their tracks and also support Sponsor me by picking up a subscription for yourself. Other reactors this will help us skip build out this. More tools and hopefully one day stop romance scammers altogether. Imagine that as a Real key quick, guys, on your keyboard. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like do that to this video as well, guys. From being Please. Let's get into it. It was now time to sit down with Anne and let her know. What I think I have that shirt when Before I was younger. Before we jump into it, we want to know. Have you reconnected with your family and shared your experience? Well, one of my daughters knows everything. And my youngest daughter, um, who was he who stayed here last night, we have reconnected. That's good. But my other two, that's a different story. That's gonna take time. We sent you over a tracker to track down this man, and you sent it to him off of our FU gift card site and he clicked on it and Man said, he is okay. in Lagos, Nigeria. Again, not even a thank you. Yeah. I had a feeling he would be. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't know how they live with themselves. I really and truly don't. It's a good question. But the, they've just got no empathy whatsoever. Yeah, they don't. Something else I wanted to touch on was the credit union. 
we looked into this website and what we had found was this website had a bunch of problems um, from misspelling to bad reviews, just a mix of, just a mess, should we say. Brienne was right. This website was completely fake. We Googled the address listed on the bank's website and it was not a valid address. Now it was time to run the phone numbers also listed on the website. We use phone verification Wait. software to verify phone numbers along with a fraud score system from zero unlikely fraud to a hundred high risk and likely fraud. We researched the phone number through this system and found that this particular number scored a 90 which means this is a high risk number and is most likely at least it's not 91. Fraud. The last thing we did was check the who is history on the site. We were able to find that this website was created on April 5th, 2022. What this means is this new bank was created this year and does not reflect the same information on the website. Remember this guy, Christian, who claimed he worked for the bank? He was also a fraud. His name and photo was stolen. This is a common tactic used by scammers. We've seen this in a lot of our previous episodes. Look at that Dan picture. logged into the bank account that looks something like this. The scammer pretends to have tons of money and tells the victim that he will pay her back, yeah. not knowing that the website was only created to make them feel comfortable with lending the scammer money. Yeah, I, you know, I think we all know that, but if anyone doesn't know that, here's a, here's a tip, right? Not the tip you're thinking of, Come on now, daddy. I said dirty there, not daddy. If that, if you see a bank have this picture with a man holding on to a number one, probably run because they couldn't even format the picture so that it's clear on the website. So scammers, you are you are a piece of shit, but you're also lazy piece of shit. So oh, and think of it in a sense that the role that you're playing in this situation. You don't know these people, but you're moving the money for Michael. That's the upsetting part of it. Because it's money that, you know, I worked hard for. Um, I try not to think about it, but sometimes it'll flash in my mind. Of course. And I think, I just wish I hadn't woke up on that 4th of Whoa. November because he is wrecked wrecked my life you know something else i'd like to also add and um, share with you is uh, michael's true identity and hopefully that will help provide closure as well in this case. just wouldn't um, really so like we use some reverse image search tools as well as in-depth reverse data image search tools and what we were able to find was michael's true identity and so the real person in the image is known as um, remco the man in the photos is Remco. completely innocent. Sounds like His a likeness was stolen to dupe Anne out of money. The profile on the right side is the Instagram that Anne was in contact with claiming his name was Michael. The profile on the left right. is the real man's profile. He has his own life and we were able to find his Twitter page and his Facebook. Uh, I still feel a bit stupid. Understandable. Doing it. Yep. But, you know, you you learn your lesson. And having my daughter back, that's the main one back thing, means more to me than anything. You yeah. know, she's worth more than all the money that I sent. You know, um, my children are. So time will tell and the others will come back as well. So I'm, I'm OK. I'm OK. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'll read through the information that you send me. Um, and it'll be closure for my daughter, my eldest daughter, because she has been my rock through all of this. She really and truly has. And um, without her, I just couldn't have done it. And watching your channel has really given me hope and strength. And I can't thank you all enough for your help. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and it's nice. I mean, Chris to talk is just here for you. vibes. I don't think I he said anything. I won't let him beat me whatsoever. You know, uh, I wasn't going to give up on this. I wanted to do it um, for myself and for other people as well. Just don't get involved. 
Thanks for watching yes. another episode of Scamfish, no, everyone. Remember, new videos go oh, out Wednesday. every Wednesday. Wow. Who would have thought? <laughs> Hopefully you guys took something out of that. Again, I can't stress enough that money, if it means you are going to be in a difficult situation and, I mean, look, it will cause you to overdose because of how bad the situation is and it's, it's not good. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. As much as I can say, don't put yourself in that situation and run as soon as you see the signs. I know it's I know it's harder than than just saying it, right? Easier said than done. So seek support. Uh, I will put some links in the in the description. No, the comments. Pin it. That I think might be of use regarding this story and. You know, similar to me being in a shitty housing situation. Uh, granted, you know, I didn't have my money stolen through a scam. But, yeah, hopefully you learn to perhaps don't find love online. I know that is quite controversial, perhaps. Because there are many relationships that start online and they're great. But... Just, we need a course or we need authoritative figures to take scams more seriously. Like, I understand Catfish are doing good things with their channel. However, we need, I don't know what you would call it, but we need more from, like, the government, you know? I, I think is swept under the rug, especially when you go to like your local police. There's not much they can do. And to be honest, I don't think they would even try and care. But that's why it gets escalated to like FBI and stuff. But yeah, on a more grounded level and a more accessibility road. English has gone out the window, but we need something more accessible to like the everyday person, right? Who doesn't perhaps have the opportunity to get Catfish's help because they probably get so many stories and they pick out obviously the one that will get them views. You know, if we're being entirely honest, they're not picking out every single one. They're picking out the ones, oh, what can we put in the title and the thumbnail? And like, I respect what they do, but at the end of the day, it's also YouTube. Do you know what I mean? So, we need something more accessible to everyone. And I feel like I've rambled on quite a bit there. And the main point to take from that is we need more learning. More, more, something accessible for the everyday person that they can, they can take advantage of without having to wait for a service like Catfish to provide them support. I could have said that all in like one sentence. So forgive me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. And if you want to watch more, the whole playlist is here. Take care of yourselves.